This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today MP12 Plus and I don't own MP12, you know, without the Plus. So I don't know what's the difference, but uh, this is very um, cartoon accurate, uh, enough for me to really uh, enjoy this figure. Uh, this is by Lifelong Design, so the KO company. So unless my G1 uh, sideswipe, I couldn't find uh, who did the KO. Uh, but this one at least, they you know, put it right there on the box. But everything else screams of Takara Tomi and, uh, you know, if it's all the same box as the, uh, the Japanese version. Um, from uh, Te uh, Takara Tomi, so it's uh, it's really you know I'm I'm still impressed that they can uh, you know get away with that, but uh, yeah it's a uh, less uh, complicated transformation than MP37, uh, but he looks really good. Um, mine you know, I don't know maybe I mistransform him, but he seems to uh, be a little back heavy for s he doesn't have that much kibble so. Maybe it's just the way I'm posing him, but uh, he's, uh, he's really good. So I'm going to show that to you guys right now. I also have the Toy Hacks decals for this guy because uh, I received both sides swipe at the same time. So I ordered the stickers at the same time. So, uh, but uh, for the uh, Masterpiece one, I only got the cell shaded windows, uh, not the whole thing. Because I prefer the, um, you know, the, the cartoon version uh, didn't have a lot of details except their colors and you know their animation models so I want to keep that uh, a little more uh, cartoon accurate uh, so before I do so check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel something I'm very proud of as well as the interview playlist if you want to you know hear it from the actors themselves um, how you know what's their experience and uh, their career how it went so that was very interesting also check out DJC Collectibles, my sponsor, a fantastic online store, you know, he wraps everything yeah. very nicely, yeah, nobody's, I've never seen any complaint on uh, his, uh, his Facebook page, uh, everybody seems to uh, really enjoy the, uh, the option. I'm able to pick it up locally, so, you know, it's always a plus to not have to pay for shipping. So without further delay, let's uh, roll the intro. been assembled all right so let's take a quick look at the box um, you know uh, I was gonna say standard Takarotomi package but this is standard uh, lifelong design uh, knockoff uh, package uh, you know Lamborghini Compact LP5 OS uh, Japanese stuff transformers don't know what that means Cybertronian Warrior Lambor MP12 Plus, Japanese stuff, product shot, and then here you have MP37, uh, and uh, you have a display of the different uh, PAL drivers that you can use. I only recall these when he was uh, breaking Jetfire out, well, Skyfire out of the uh, ice. Keep pounding, Sideswipe. He'll turn up soon. He better. It's cold enough to freeze the ailerons off for a titanium moose bot. I don't recall these others, but I'm not saying that they weren't there. And then you have the shoulder cannon and everything. And then all the, you know, standard description. And another product shot. So standard box. Instructions are... Actually, these one were useful and not too hard to follow compared to the MP37. Uh, it's cool, you even have a, uh, a picture of uh, the G1 cartoon, you know, how they use the uh, the different things. Uh, you know, uh, here you have, hold on, the shoulder cannon on this picture and then the pile driver. So that's, uh, that's really neat. Uh, even his, uh, his gun, so. And then this is the steps for transformation. I have to say that the masterpiece instructions are not as good as the mainline instructions, but that's just me. And also, they, there's no storage of the weapons while he's in alt mode, which kind of makes sense. Uh, but I understand on mainline, 
you want to have uh, a gimmick for kids to you know play with. So, uh, shoulder cannon uh, doesn't have a well. There's a little hole here, but it doesn't have a mechanism to fire anything. So that's just a um, an accessory for uh, the shoulder. So I wish it would have fired a couple of things, but that's probably just because I just got the uh, KO G1 side swipe we did. Uh, the gun, uh, fairly standard, looking good. Could use a little uh, details, uh, you know, paint application, but uh, you know, standard gray. Uh, you have the ice ball driver, very waffly. Uh, from this side, it looks really good. And uh, the, um, I don't know, gun metal uh, ball driver, again, on one side, very waffly. Uh, so I don't recall these, maybe, you know, breaking rocks. Get your pistons pumping, Sideswipe! And then you have these ones who are a little longer than the uh, gunmetal one. And, uh, waffly again, but uh, here you have uh, some, uh, you know, ridges uh, for a different type of breaking. So maybe this was used to flatten heads and this is to break rocks. I don't know. And uh, fairly easy to install. Uh, you lift the side of the arm like this, and then you pop the hand back in, and then you just take one and slide them in like that and close it. And there you go. You have slide swipe and ice breaking action. So it looks good. Easy to use. It's fun. I like that. All right, let me clean clean this up a little bit. Okay, um, also I have the uh, toy hacks decal. So this is gonna be for the windows. So we'll uh, apply them, uh, um, you know, in alt mode. And then side swipe itself. I have to say he's not as impressive as uh, MP37, the KO. Uh, legs are a little loose, the back comes off fairly easily. Maybe it's because I mistransformed it. Uh, hold on, I no, I don't want to force this because then you have to plug this in. So I don't know. Maybe there's something I did wrong when I, re you know, because I did play with it uh, a little bit. So, but I'm gonna retransform him now. So maybe I'll figure out uh, what I did wrong. He stands good. Um, he, I had a couple issue where he was falling backwards, but now it seems to be stable enough. The knees are, well, this one's a little loose. Eh, I guess they're both a little loose. Uh, so that's slightly disappointing, but he looks really good. The cartoon accuracy for the face, uh, the whole mold looks really good. Uh, the difference is that his windows don't go up like uh, Sunstreaker does. So that's, you know, but I'll take a look at that in car mode. Uh, but uh, the paint looks real good. Uh, colored plastic looks good. The black, a uh, couple highlights here and there. Uh, you know, the white uh, piece for the crotch, white legs. And you have a little gray plastic in the back. Uh, this white highlight, a little yellow here. You know, white feet. Uh, the blue eyes really good um, you can actually remove this uh, I think for transformation uh, they said that you had to I had to plug it back in but when I transformed him it was already complete so I don't know if it's really useful uh, we'll see um, he hides the uh, the other wheels pretty good because they're underneath here so that's uh, you know an interesting way to do it uh, he does have uh, nice articulation. So you have the head on a ball joint, so it's gonna go 360. He's gonna look up, but not enough to do Jet Judo flight. All right, bro, let's go! Uh, look, doesn't look down either. Uh, you have a, I guess, an articulation. Uh, if you remove the window, you can lower the arm that just looks goofy uh, but you do have the ferris wheel no problem here uh, you have an articulation like that you have a rotation under the shoulder which is tight enough and then you have the 90 degree uh, elbow bend and you have well i guess that's something a reverse 90 and then on the hand you have a rotation at the fist 
and you can open up the hand the fingers are not independent and then to plug in the weapon um, you can't just shove it down you have to plug it like this and then close it over so uh, hold on I'm, there you go See that joint it, it comes down quite easily once in a while so it's a little flimsier than the MP37. So there you go. And I think the gun, they should have used the mainline pegs because uh, this system, the gun's always a little loose. Because basically you have this peg here on the handle and it goes into that slot here inside the hand. And it, uh, it just doesn't uh, hold exactly tight. Uh, you have, well, I guess an ab crunch because of the transformation. Uh, I just wish this wouldn't come off so easily because basically that white peg goes into this hole here. And it just doesn't hold really, really tight. But you have a rotation at the waist. That one's really tight. There you go. Come on, there you go. So you have the merry-go-round. And then you do have the ability to do the Johnny Cage. Boom. There you go. You have... Well, okay, it lifts. It goes around like this at the waist. And then you have the 90-degree bend. Doesn't go more than that. Little kick uh, back about this uh, because of this well skirt i guess and then if you lift this skirt here you have a kick forward and so you have that and uh, the articulation at the feet you have do you have a i mean you have a toe tilt and a heel tilt but do you have a rocker you do because i see the mechanism here but it's just this much, not more. Okay. All right, go back up. There you go. So that's, uh, he stands fine, you know, so can't complain there. So that's the articulation for MP12 Plus, KO. I feel I have to say KO all the time so I don't get sued. Anyway, so that's the robot mode. And now let's take a look at uh, some size comparison. Check out this move! Yeah! So here's uh, Masterpiece Sideswipe with Masterpiece KO Sunstreaker uh, with the Toy Hacks decals applied. And I have to say that together they look really good. So Corey Burton with Michael Bell voicing these uh, two characters. And uh, they were uh, favorites of mine. I wish I could interview Corey Burton, you know, in 2023. We'll see. Kingdom Sideswipe. And you can see the similitude, although they transform. Uh, uh, differently I wouldn't say completely different but the masterpiece version is more refined and uh, Transformers robots in disguise legacy scourge a very good Voyager size figure I know he's leader because of the trailer but that's Voyager all right so let me put him in uh, out mode and I'm not gonna do transformation on screen because I'm gonna well either break it or you know scream my lungs out so I'll do that off camera. I'll apply the decal so that you have a full view of the effect with the cell shaded window. More Decepticons ahead! No problem, bro! Just follow my lead! And here we are with Sideswipe in alt mode. And no, I did not transform MP37 again just for the review because he's actually long and, you know, it, it's not a super fun transformation, so... Forgive me, but the uh, out mode of Sideswipe, uh, I think this KO shows a lot more sign of being a KO. Um, big gaps here, um, even the Toy Hacks decals, who look amazing, but you can tell that they're not the exact same fit. You know, there's still some window gapage. Uh, it still went around the uh, windshield wiper uh, pretty good. Uh, but if you, you can tell all the windows, unlike Sunstreaker, who, well, even Sunstreaker, they could have been just a little bigger, but I do believe that the MP37 ones were uh, slightly better. 
you know, if you take a look up close. Uh, well, from up close, you know what? It's pretty much the same thing. So I'm gonna guess it's because they're KOs. Maybe they're not the exact same size as the uh, Takara Tomy uh, Masterpiece version. So I'm guessing that's why. Uh, he could use a little more details. I mean, you know, there's a Lamborghini uh, ridge or bump. Um, you know, could use a uh, decals. Hey, you know what? Hold on. There you go. That's a leftover from the KOG one set. So, yeah, it looks it looks good enough from a distance. You couldn't tell. Um, from up close, you know, it's not the greatest shape, but it, it yeah, it's fun. It it just looks okay. So overall, uh, he's less. You know, he doesn't have the uh, option like Sunstreaker does to pull out a, uh, a cannon and you know um, air to ground missile. Or ground to air missile so you know but he never did that in the show so and this one doesn't really roll well i mean the back wheel is fine but this one you have to force it play with it and it it just doesn't doesn't really want to roll this one either so that's that's a shame but he looks you know it looks good from a distance looks you know maybe this side now see that gap is everywhere and I played, I, you know, I pleaded with it, I begged it, and it won't go in. Uh, one thing that I do like is that the mirrors are actually fixed. And on the MP37, you could remove them and it was a pain in the butt. So, just like that. So if you, you know, look at it from the front, looks awesome. All right, let me put him back in uh, robot mode and uh, do the final thoughts. Even with one arm, Prime is Primo! So there you go guys, that's gonna be my display for my Lambro shelf. So basically you have the Earthrise or War for Cybertron line, uh, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe, uh, G1 KO Sideswipe, Jada Toys, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe, you have the Classics Universe, uh, Sunstreaker and Sideswipe, and then you have the Masterpiece version so that's gonna look awesome on my shelf so thanks for watching guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if you did please like subscribe and hit the bell also leave a comment i love reading those keep coming back i have more in the way and remember nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole take care